Joe Casey, a loving father of four from New Hampshire, always put family first. He was the bedrock, always there, always strong. But now, Joe is in the fight of his life. One mosquito bite, three deadly viruses, Eastern equine encephalitis, West Nile virus, and St. Louis encephalitis. The odds seemed insurmountable. Since that fateful bite in early August, Joe has been hospitalized, clinging to life. His brain, under attack by the viruses, has become severely inflamed. He struggles to communicate, his words lost in the fog of illness. A ventilator breathes for him, a machine keeping him alive. The CDC and infectious disease doctors are unsure which virus is causing his severe symptoms. Casey has undergone a tracheotomy and remains under 24-hour care. Angela Barker, Joe's sister-in-law, shared the family's deep sorrow, emphasizing how heartbreaking it is that such a serious situation arose from something as simple as a mosquito bite. EEE, -E -E, West Nile, St. Louis encephalitis. Three names, each striking fear into the hearts of medical professionals. EEE, -E -E, the most deadly of the three, known for its rapid assault on the brain. Survivors often face a lifetime of neurological complications. West Nile, though less deadly, can leave its own mark. Debilitating fatigue, muscle weakness, and cognitive problems can linger for months, even years. And then there's St. Louis encephalitis. While rarely fatal, it can cause meningitis, inflammation of the brain and spinal cord, leaving victims with lasting neurological damage. These viruses, carried by mosquitoes, are a silent threat, lurking in the shadows. Their bites, often painless, can unleash a torrent of suffering, a reminder of the delicate balance between man and nature. Following Casey's diagnosis, the town of Kensington has heightened the threat level and alerted residents after detecting a mosquito pool with EEE. This comes shortly after the death of 41-year-old Stephen Perry from EEE, New Hampshire's first case in a decade. Casey's sister-in-law describes the treatment process as a wait-and-see approach, given that there are no specific treatments or vaccines for West Nile virus, EEE, or St. Louis encephalitis. Casey's family is hopeful that his brain swelling will fully subside and lead to a complete recovery. While it's encouraging to see Casey's daily progress, the process is exhausting. Joe's story was a stark reminder that tragedy can strike anyone, anywhere, at any time. Joe's story, though heartbreaking, serves as a wake-up call. Mosquito-borne illnesses are on the rise, a growing threat in a changing world. Climate change, with its warmer temperatures and increased rainfall, is creating ideal breeding grounds for mosquitoes. The CDC has issued warnings, urging people to take precautions. Use insect repellent. Wear long sleeves and pants, bug nets on strollers, eliminate standing water around your home. These simple steps can make a world of difference, but more needs to be done. Increased funding for research is crucial. We need better ways to control mosquito populations to develop effective vaccines and treatments. The fight against mosquito-borne illnesses is a fight we must win. As Joe battles for his life, his story serves as a reminder. A reminder of the importance of family, of community, of the preciousness of life. It's also a call to action, a plea for greater awareness, for increased research, for a world free from the scourge of mosquito-borne diseases. The road ahead for Joe is long and uncertain. But one thing is clear, he is not alone. He has the love of his family.